I think it's time to do cocktail number two. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Shall we go with a classic Aperol this time? This is an absolute classic cocktail. Now in this one we are supposed to use a Prosecco, but I am still just going to use this sparkling wine. Um, traditionally it's a Prosecco, but uh, I mean it's, it's fine. You use what you can. You know, we're not trying to win awards here. We're just cooking at home and you'll get a really similar effect. Um, you can use a sweet sparkling if you like it a little bit sweeter. Um, it's completely up to you, completely up to you. Uh, for this one, we do have a slightly different recipe because Aperol, funnily enough, um, although a spirit, although a spirit, um, it is very low alcohol spirit. So this one, for instance, right, so this is the same size. This has only got six drinks total in it, right? If you have a look at something like um, the Midori we used before, that's 11. So there's 11 standard drinks in that bottle. And that's by no means a strong spirit. This, is, this only has six, so it's like half the strength. Um, it's essentially, yeah, it's good, it's good. Um, this one is essentially the same strength as wine, which is why you can use more of it. So um, we need the Aperol, we need our ice, we need our Prosecco, half, my half strength, Fenrir, listen, Watch out, chat. We've got a mod in chat. Fenrir will use his Viking axe to axe all of you if you're not careful. Uh, okay, we're on, we're on. Dungeons and Dragons bow tie it is. Dungeons and Dragons bow tie it is. Okay, uh, we were just talking Aperol spritzes. So we are going to need one orange. We should have enough time to make an Aperol spritz before I get distracted again by potato. Uh, right, so with the Aperol, we're using twice as much spirit as we did in the previous one because it is a um, much lighter spirit. So um, we're going Aperol, a full double shot. We're going sparkling wine up to the 150 point. So it's actually 60-90 for this one. So just remember that when you're doing an Aperol Spritz. But this is an absolute classic, this one, chat. And then we're going just a spritz of lemonade or soda water. And what I want you to do with your orange, right? Just around the rim of the glass and in the mix. Done, just like that. Right, because that's gonna... Now, when I pick up the glass, the whole rim of the glass smells like orange, right? That's what you want. They're going to smell that. We've talked about this before. They're going to smell just before they go and take that first sip. Right. So, chat. Uh, I didn't get to finish the Aperol Spritz before those. I did get distracted. Um, <laughs> uh, right. The only thing we're going to do for this Aperol Spritz now is put the ice in. So... Load that thing up with ice. Absolutely as much ice as you can get. I reckon one more big cube and we're good. And that chat, Aperol Spritz. That's the classic, right? Basically one of the, uh, one of the original spritzes, that one. Delicious. It's an aperitivo. So like our Campari that we have, uh, which is here, just like our Campari aperitivo, but this is much, much, much more bitter. So, um, unless you're from an Italian family or, or you like Negronis and stuff, um, that's not a spirit you start with for an aperitivo. You start with something like, a, um, like an Aperol or a Pims or something like that. Cheers, chat. Cheers. They are really refreshing. Cheers. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. You can uh, watch me stream on Twitch, catch my videos right here, or uh, check me out on Instagram. Hope to see you next time. Cheers.